Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over Firebase. So Firebase is going to be our main database service that we're going to be using to store our users' data. So Firebase is a database run by Google that is also a NoSQL type of database, meaning that there's no direct schema. So not every user's data needs to be the exact same as each other. And since this is run by Google, there is a free tier that Google offers us, which allows us to store one gigabyte of data and also to read and or write 10 gigabytes per month which will be plenty for our bot unless we go over it which we would then get upgraded to the pay as you go tier which is moderately priced for our usage since we're mostly dealing with text data okay so now let's talk about how to initialize firebase and how to get it up and running inside of our app so first you need to have a google account so since firebase is run by google you need to have a google account to obviously start and how would you get to this website? You just Google Firebase and it should be the first link there. So once you get to this page, you want to click the get started button right here on it. And it should take us to another page like this. You then want to create a project. We need to have a project or a database to exist basically. So we want to then create a project. So this project is where our database will then live. So let's hit create project and let's name our project. So I'm just going to name mine Discord MMO, but you can name this whatever you want. And then accept the term and condition. Accept it. And then it's going to ask you if you want to turn on Google Analytics. So for our project, we don't really need Google Analytics because we won't really be doing any testing and or our app won't really crash. So we don't really have to worry about this, but it can be turned on or off. So I'm just going to leave mine on. Then it's going to ask us for our location. Yeah, I'm in the United States and it's going to ask us if you want to share any data with Google. So yeah, I don't really care. And also I accept the term and conditions again. Right. So this data will only share like if our app crashes or anything like that. So it's for them to help improve their services. We want to help them improve their services since we, we are using it for free. Right. So let's create our project then. So now it's going to take a while to create our project and I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so now our project is ready. We then want to click continue. So this should bring us up to our main um, application like screen, right? This is where our app would then live. So over here, you then want to go over on the left and go over to builds. So when, when you hit build, you then see a bunch of different options, right? There's two different database that Firebase offers, which is a Firestore and real-time database. We're going to be using real-time database since we are going to be reading and writing a lot, which Firestore does not allow us to do. There is a limitation to that, but real-time database does not. I'll talk about that later, but let's go on to the real-time database. Then now that we're at real-time database, we want to create that database. So click create database. And now we just pick where we are. But since there's only one US server, I want to pick the US central one and then hit next. So now once you try to create your database, it's going to ask you if you want to start your database inside of lock mode and or test mode so we want to then start our database inside of test mode and then we can change the security rule later which will allow our bot to then access this indefinitely right but for now let's start in test mode and click enable so now it should partition for us one gigabyte of data so that we can then use this firebase storage right so now that you successfully made your real-time database, you then want to give your Python code, your discord.py code access to this database. The way you do that is that you'll go up here to this little gear and click project settings. When you hit project settings, it should pop you up to the setting screens right here. And then over on this tab right here, you should see service accounts. Click on that. And then that should pop you up to a screen like this that looks, that says Firebase SDK, admin SDK, right? So here you then want to navigate over to Python. So these are the different languages that Firebase supports. And this is how you would allow access to it in Python, right? So you have to import Firebase admin and then import credentials. But you also need this account key.json thing. So how would you get that? Well, you will get that from the private key generator right here. So when you generate a private key, you're basically generating a little passcode, but that will allow our code to access this Firebase project right here. It will pop up a warning like this, where it tells you if you generate this, it will give access to whoever has this private key. So make sure you don't give this private key to anyone and also to not post it inside of a GitHub or anything, right? Because if someone has access to this private key, they can then access and change your data inside of this database. Worse, they can also delete your whole project, which means you lose all of your user's data. So now we want to generate the key, the private key, right? So let's hit generate and it should pop up as a download for us to be a .json file. Let's click here and click open it. You can then open up in like notepad or whatever, but let's just open it up for now. Highlight all of this, copy and paste it. So let's copy it and now we're done. 
Let's put this to the side. We don't need to worry about this for now. Okay, so now that we've generated that private key, we then want to go back into our code base. So inside of our code base, this is what we wrote last time where we have a token, a prefix, and then we ran our bot with an on ready event, right? So now we want to clean this up. So this token right here, which is um, Discord's version of the private key, which is if they get access to it, they can then run our bot under that name, right? So we don't want that to app. So let's go over here. And let's change a couple of things from what we did last time. So now we want to make a new file over here, right? So at this little folder right here, you want to right click it and then go over to new. At new, you then want to go over down and then we want to go over to the Python file. And now we want to make a new Python file. So we want to name it config. So this is where all of our uh, config files will go to, right? So now we want to just copy and paste this over and then delete this inside of our main file. We don't want that to be enough out of our main file because if let's say we upload this file into like GitHub or something, we don't want our private key to then be in it. So we don't want people to have access to our bot itself, right? We just want them to be able to run our code with their own key. So now, as you can see over here, our code has a little red squiggly line and it won't run anymore if you try to run it, right? It's not going to work. Well, how would we fix that? So since we put it inside of another folder, we then need to import it over just like what we did with Discord right here. So we would do from config. So from the file that we named it config, we want to import star. Okay. So what does the star mean? The star basically means that we want to import everything in here, right? So basically what the star is doing is that we want prefix and tokens to exist inside of this file, just like they're inside of this file, even though they're not. So we want to do one more thing. Remember that little uh, key that we had? The key that we downloaded from Firebase, which is a very important passcode? Well, we want to put that into our config file too. So we don't need to name this variable. Let's name it uh, Firebase config, right? And let's set it up as a little dictionary. So let's just do copy paste. That's it. <laughs> so you basically just go in here, copy and paste every single thing, even the little swiggly brackets right here. This would tell Python that it's a dictionary and that these are the keys and these are the values. So that's what we're doing. And now we're done. Officially Firebase is almost in here. But remember, remember that Firebase admin library that we downloaded? So now we then need to import that just like how we're doing with the Discord library. So now let's head back over to the web browser and look at the Firebase console again. Okay, so now we're on our console. How would we then get access to our database using our private key that we generated last time, right? So first, let's just copy and paste this. Two lines right here. So what we're doing here is that we want to import Firebase admin and then from Firebase admin, we want to import credentials. Same thing here, we import Discord and then from Discord extensions, we then import commands. Next, what do we need to do? Let's head back over to the Firebase console and take a look. So over here, it wants us to do something weird. We have a cred and we're setting it is equal to credentials and then certify, right? What does this mean? So basically this is calling a function called certify from credentials and it's taking inside this string as a parameter so this path to file let's copy this and let's paste it over here right but like what is it doing so what is this path to file trying to point at so it's trying to point at our private key right so what would, what do we name our private key before we named it firebase config let's copy this head back over to the main file and then let's just instead of a string we just want it to point straight towards that config file right but as you can see right here it's a little red right like why isn't it working well we're trying to access firebase config before we've in imported the config file so we need to move this up one more let's move it over here and as you can see it fixes everything there's no more red lines and it's all happy okay so now let's go back over to the firebase console and look at what we have to do now it wants us to call the initialize function from firebase admin and then we want to pass it the credentials that we got so now let's just copy this and let's paste it in here so as you can see the difference here, right? Why is one calling credentials and one calling Firebase admin? Well, credentials is a part of Firebase admin. While initialize is actually a part of the main Firebase admin um, library. Initialize and credentials are actually both the same hierarchy. While credentials also goes down further into certificate, initialize does not. Initialize is just a pure function. While this is also another um, class that has this function, right? So you can think of this as like the parent and these two are the siblings. And then this is the grandchild like that. <laughs> so it's a three tiered system of code. This is the parent, these two are the child, and this is the grandchild, okay? So now what? We've 
have our credentials. We gave them our private key over here. And also we've initialized that app. So now what happened? Well, Firebase is in our app now. We can kind of access Firebase. Well, what do you mean kind of, right? Well, we can kind of access it. We can access Firebase itself, but we can't access our database. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Next time we'll go over how to access our database itself and also how to perform a write. We're gonna perform a command using discord.py and using that command, we're going to write something to the database itself. Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.